this is the type of snake that apparently has uh, killed that gentleman uh, in Bali. Um, sadly, um, this is actually a very, very powerful snake, and it can be quite dangerous. Uh, Steve, of course, as you can see, is quite well, good-natured. But this is a Burmese python. Now, there are two types of pythons that live in Bali. You've got this guy, which grows up to just over 20 feet and probably weigh over 200 pounds. And then you've got another one called a reticulated python, which can grow up to 32 feet, but a lot skinnier. But I believe this is the, this is the, the culprit that uh, took this uh, gentleman out. So, um, Jules, Jules, I... If I, he tried to... Yeah. I understand that th these snakes are, are strong. I get that. But this gentleman was trying to capture it how quick are these snakes? Well, um, pretty quick. If you try to catch this snake, and he's a wild one, um, he will react. He's cooling it. He'll react pretty violently because uh, he doesn't want to get caught. And, uh, of course, he's got a, a large gape. He's got a head in here. Um, he's got about 75 good, sharp teeth. All pythons bite. That's the first thing they do is uh, try and get a hold of you. And uh, if he's being defensive, which he probably was doing, when this guy tried to catch him, he turned around, bit the guy, and within two seconds, he's wrapped all over this fat. Uh, we don't know how big this guy was. Um, the Indonesian guard, I'm assuming, is probably about five foot three, probably 130 pounds soaking wet. Um, the python, if it's anything like this size, this is only eight feet. I mean, they can get to 11, 12, 14, 15 feet. It would have had this guy in about two or three seconds. And if it gets around your neck, you're unconscious in seven to 15 seconds. Wow. wow. And he will not let go. He will not let go till your heartbeat stops. Mm. So where, That's it. where do officials look for these snakes? I mean, where do they generally hide? Um, they'll hide just about anywhere. I mean, I've been catching snakes for 40 odd years. I pulled them out of toilets, people's restrooms, I take them out of churches. Um, they can be found anywhere, anywhere where there's rodents, like in the, where human habitation is. Oh, get off me here, big boy. That's it. <laughs> he, um, where, wherever they, um, they find human habitation, you've got rodents. Wherever the rodents, of course, you've got the cleanup crew, which comes along and looks for them. Mm -hmm. And this is where we run into trouble. So we come across the, run, come around the corner at 3 o'clock in the morning, and there's a 15-foot you know, snake across the road. The best thing to do is leave it alone. But, of course, if you can't leave it alone, there's always somebody that wants to try and catch it. And we had the results there with this gentleman being killed. 